Are you ready for a family camping trip? Well, we found some awesome travel trailers for families of four. Stick around, folks. You're going to want to check these out. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera and today we're taking a look at awesome travel trailers that are perfect for families of four. So if you're getting ready for your family vacation, stick around and check out our reviews of these awesome travel trailers. Hey, if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We sure are glad to have you back. And if you've never seen us before on YouTube, welcome aboard. Susan and I make videos all about RVing and especially tours of RVs. And we also have our website called rvblogger.com where you can find hundreds of articles that we've written all about RVing. And if that's not enough, we also invite you to subscribe to our free monthly digital video magazine called RV Camping Magazine, where every month we feature a really well-known RVer on the front cover. You can learn all about RVing, tips, tip, tricks, hacks, all kinds of really cool stuff. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in subscribing. But for now, let's get started with our reviews of awesome travel trailers for families of four. This travel trailer is the Gulfstream Enlightened model number 25BH. And Gulfstream Enlightens, by the way, if you might've heard me say this before, but they're only available at Camping World locations. Gulfstream makes the Enlightened just for Camping World. But this is a cool trailer. It is 26 feet, seven inches long. It has a dry weight of 4,222 pounds, but the GVWR is 7580, so the cargo carrying capacity in this trailer is really impressive at 3,358 pounds. So you could load up all your gear, groceries, supplies, and really have room to spare in this particular model. It sleeps up to five people, but I would say four people very comfortably without having to turn the dinette into a bed. Now, when you first walk into this camper, you walk right into a very open area that features a queen, short queen size bed on the right hand side. And there are wardrobe cabinets on each side of the bed. There's also a receptacle and USB ports on each side of the bed as well. Now this queen size bed measures in at 60 inches wide and 74 inches long. So it is definitely uh, what we would consider a short queen in this particular model. Also has a curtain that you can draw across for a little bit of privacy. Um, as you walk straight in, you've got the kitchen area straight ahead of you. Now this kitchen, I really like the sink. It's got a nice wide, deep double bowl sink in here. Nice gooseneck faucet. Overhead, you've got a big storage cabinet. And down below the sink, there's additional storage and also some drawer space as well. Right next to the kitchen sink, you've got a two burner range, a little bit of storage down below that as well. And then up above, you have a microwave oven. This is not a convection microwave and there's no oven in here. So just a regular microwave oven. Directly across from the kitchen, you have a dinette that could easily seat four people. Nice large window over top of the dinette. And then, of course, plenty of storage over top of that as well. So right next to the rest of the kitchen and across from the dinette, I have a nice big refrigerator in here with a separate freezer, which we always think is a great idea. We have that in our RV and we really like it. And then right next to the refrigerator, you've got some nice deep pantry cabinets with built-in shelving in here. They don't appear to be adjustable, but... Uh, there are one, two, three, four different drawers that you could use to stow away canned goods and things like that. Now, while we're in the main living part of the RV real quick, let's just take a look at the ceiling height in here. And that is measuring in at about 80 inches tall. So, you know, about six feet, eight inches. So for you taller guys, I think you'll be able to fit in here pretty good. Now, as we move back through, uh, one feature that this trailer has is that it's got the vanity outside of the bathroom. So it's got a sink and some storage space located down below. And then above the sink location, it's got a medicine cabinet, which I think is a great idea because you can put all your stuff in here and 
it's a great place to store things. Right across from the vanity cabinet, you have your bunk beds. There's an upper bunk and a lower bunk. Um, and they're really good size, nice wide bunks. So the kids could fit in here very comfortably. The bottom bunk has its own window. And um, unfortunately, there's no uh, receptacle or USB ports in these bunks. So you have to charge up the devices before you send the kids off to bed. So here I am in the bathroom in the very back of this trailer and you'll notice it's got a bathtub in here. It's a small bathtub. So if you have really little kids, it would work for them, but it's quite a step up into this bathtub shower area and standing inside of here, you know, since I have the skylight over my head, it's only six feet, two inches to the ceiling, but it's about six feet, six inches. To the top of the skylight so you know as long as you're if you're a taller guy and you stay in this area you'll be fine and then outside here the commode itself you know plenty of room to sit on the toilet and not feel like you're really cramped all right this travel trailer is the j flight slx model number 264 b h and i think jayco does a great job with their floor plans and this is certainly one of their more creative floor plans now this camper weighs in at 4904 pounds unloaded vehicle weight it's got a cargo capacity of 1096 pounds so the gvwr for this trailer is 6,000 pounds even it's 29 feet 5 inches long and like I mentioned, it's got a terrific floor plan. Now, when you first walk into this camper, you walk into the big kitchen and living area, but you'll notice off to the right-hand side, they've done a really nice job creating some separation between the bedroom and the rest of the camper, which I think looks really cool. Now, as you move into this area, you'll notice that on each side of the bed, you have large cabinets. On this side, it's a cabinet with shelving inside of it. That cabinet, is a wardrobe uh, closet cabinet that has a bar so you can hang things in it and then you have some more storage space overhead the bed itself is a queen size bed and it looks to be a short queen it's only 74 inches long uh, 60 inches wide so we would consider that a short queen bed size you'll also notice there's a nightstand on each side of the bed back here uh, one side has USB ports, or actually neither side has USB ports, but they both have receptacles and you could plug in and charge a USB device just as easily. You'll also note that underneath of the bed, the whole entire mattress flips up. This is all one big giant storage compartment under here and the front ends of it are also accessible from the outside. And one last thing to note in here is that there's a window on each side of this bedroom so you can get some cross breeze in and then finally uh, there's a tv location which is in the perfect spot it's on the back of the wall here uh, receptacle and cable hookups are provided which makes it nice and easy to set up you can lay in bed and watch tv you'll notice in the living area this nice big comfy couch that i'm laying on and i think it's really cool that they have this couch built in here which separates the living and dining area from the bedroom area of the camper. But this baby jack knifes out, so one person could sleep here as well. But it's a nice, comfy sofa location, and it's in the right spot because when we work our way around to the dinette, you'll see where the TV location is. So it really works well. Uh, as you move through this trailer, you come into the kitchen area. And again, this is an inline style kitchen, which I really like because when you're working at your kitchen, everything's right in line. It's easy to get to, and it just makes sense to me that way. Now in the kitchen area, you've got a very large storage cabinet over top, nice window over top of your kitchen sink, which is a double bowl, deep sink, gooseneck faucet over top. And then you've got some full extension drawers here that pull all the way out, which is really great. Makes getting to your utensils nice and easy. More storage underneath the kitchen sink area. And then we've got a three burner stove with an oven down below, which is great. And then even more storage down below that. Above, we've got our range hood and then we have a microwave oven. A little bit on the small side, but it's really just the perfect size for in a camper. And then you've got your refrigerator, which features a separate fridge and freezer compartment. All right, so directly across from the kitchen area, we have a dinette. Now this is large enough to pretty easily seat four people. As you can see, 
the table drops down and so you can take the back cushions fill it in and make a bed here for one person um, it's got a nice large window over the dinette so that always i think is kind of a nice feature and then you have lots and lots of storage overhead so that's great you can store all kinds of stuff up there and then your tv location is here which i was laying on the sofa there so it's a perfect spot to sit there and be able to watch tv um, not everyone's going to be able to see it from the dinette half the people will half the people won't that's how that goes now towards the back of this camper is where the bunk beds are located and these are oversized bunks they're very nice size each bunk has its own window and it also has USB ports above and receptacles on the lower bunk. But either way, the kids can plug in their devices and they'll be good to go when they're off to sleep. Directly across from the bunks is where the vanity is located. It's not inside the bathroom, it's outside the bathroom. Sometimes that comes in really handy because someone can be taking a shower and someone else could come in here and use the sink and brush their teeth or whatever you're doing. But it's got a simple mirror up top. A decent sized vanity sink with some good sized counter space around it and then lots of storage space down below so here I am in the bathroom back here and you'll notice you know it's got a tub set up back here so if you have really little kids you can throw them in the bathtub now when you hop up in here this is a pretty good sized shower um, it's about just a little almost three and a half feet wide and it's about 22 inches wide in this direction from front to back and one thing i really like about this shower is the curtain pulls across but the, sh the curtain rod actually swoops out into the room which gives you more room inside the shower before you hit the curtain now ceiling height wise uh, the standard ceiling height throughout the camper is about six feet nine inches so that's pretty tall when you're standing in the shower ceiling height drops down to six feet two inches but if you're inside the skylight area you've got six feet seven inches to stand and have plenty of room in here and then of course you have your commode which passes the elbow test on one side but not the other. This travel trailer is the East to West Della Terra model number 250BH. The UVW on it is 5,568 pounds, so it's a little bit of a larger trailer. Cargo carry capacity is 2109, so the total GVWR is 7,677 pounds, and it's 29 feet 2 inches long. Now, when you first walk into this travel trailer, it feels pretty nice and big in here because you walk right into the combination living area and kitchen and dining area. And then off to the right hand side is where the owner's bedroom is. And the nice thing is this is all in its own room. It's got its own door so you have a nice amount of privacy in here. Now you'll notice when you walk in, the first thing I noticed when I walked in is how big the bed is. And this is a king size bed. When I measure it, it comes out to 72 inches wide and the length on it is 80 inches long so a true full-size king size bed ceiling height in here while i have my handy dandy tape measure out is wow very impressive six feet nine inches tall so good amount of headroom inside of here a couple things you'll notice inside the bedroom are that you've got the cabinetry built around the bed both sides of the bed have a wardrobe closet, also have a drawer located down below. This one's really hard to pull out, which is good because it won't go flying when you're driving down the road. You've got little cubbies back here as well for additional storage. If you want to, you know, keep a glass of water, your phone, whatever. You've got USB ports on each side of the bed. And then, of course, you have overhead storage on both sides as well. Another nice feature in here is that there is a window on each side and there's also a fan skylight up top so you can get some nice cross ventilation in here in the evening time and then finally it's got cable hookup and a tv backer built in so you can hang your tv on the wall right across from your bed which is perfect when you come out of the bedroom you come back into the living and dining area the first thing you'll notice on my right hand side here is this nice comfy sofa which is a jackknife sofa by the way 
So that'll lay right out and then one person could sleep here comfortably. And then you've got these nice, nice big storage cabinets overhead. I like the frosted glass. It just gives it a little bit of a nicer look uh, in here as well. So right across from the living area is where you order the enter into the kitchen and dining area. Now, the first thing you'll notice in this kitchen is it's an inline kitchen, but it has a really nice, big, deep single bowl sink. I like the square design with it. Lots of room. It's got this beautiful faucet and this even has a sprayer built in so you can spray your dishes. Very, very nice. Then below that, you've got lots of storage underneath of your sink area. And then just to the left of that, you've got these drawers. All the drawers in here, all the, all the pieces that connect and hold things shut are very sturdy, I've noticed. I imagine they'll loosen over time. This is a brand new camper. But it'll also keep your drawers from flying open while you're driving down the road. Got a three burner cooktop here. Nice oven. That's a good size oven down below. It's wider than most that I've seen. And then up top you have a regular microwave oven. And then you have even more storage. This is a big giant storage cabinet right over top of the kitchen sink. So to the left of all this, we have our refrigerator and they've got a nice looking refrigerator panel on here. It's a very good size refrigerator and freezer. So plenty of room for all of your cold storage goods. So right across from the kitchen, we have the dinette and you could easily seat four people in this dinette. Um, this will drop down and create another bed for one person to sleep. And on each of the dinette benches, there's a nice big drawer that pulls out. So you have plenty of storage underneath there as well. I always like it when there's a big window over top of the dinette. It just opens things up. You know, I could see myself sitting here having a meal, looking outside at some beautiful scenery. So always like that. And then over top, there's even more storage uh, all the way along here. So you have plenty of storage there. And then finally, they have the TV in a very good spot here with all the rough-ins included because if you're sitting on the couch or on that side of the dinette, you could sit here and enjoy a little bit of TV. So here I am behind the dinette and the kitchen area and you have these two really nice big bunks that are in here. Now these bunks are wider than what you normally see. They are, uh, gosh, 40 inches wide and... Um, 74 inches long so pretty good size bunks that are back here each of these bunks can handle up to 300 pounds of capacity now you'll notice each bunk has its own window also has its own light and each bunk also has its own re electrical receptacle and USB ports so it's set up really really great if the kids are in here playing on their phones or what have you. And then you'll notice down below here, there's additional storage. You can kick shoes in here, store items under there, whatever you would like. I like the cargo net, because that'll keep, keep things from flying out of there while you're traveling down the road. So directly across from the bunk beds and right next to the refrigerator, we have the vanity area. And in this camper, it's located outside of the bathroom. It's a nice setup. Up top, we have a medicine cabinet with a mirror and then plenty of room inside the medicine cab. This is a very good size sink, so you won't have water going everywhere with a sink that size. And then down below, there's additional storage. Here I am inside the bathroom, and I'm standing in the shower like I usually am. The ceiling height inside the shower, and there's a big skylight that's almost the whole length of the shower. So if you're standing in the shower and you're under the skylight, which I would imagine is right where you'd be, you've got six feet, eight inches of height in here so that's uh, plenty of headroom um, I also like this has a metal track with a retractable door always a great feature for a shower it's just so convenient and easy to use this also has a vent with a fan built into it and then of course your commode you know doing fine on the elbow tests on one side but not the other all right this travel trailer is the Forest River Ibex 20 Beach BHS it's 25 feet long and the unloaded vehicle weight is just 4,672 pounds. It's got a carrying capacity of 2,800 pounds, so you can put a lot of gear and supplies in here. So your total gross vehicle weight rating is 7,472 pounds. So when you first walk into this RV, it's really wide open in here. You've got your bedroom on the right, and then your kitchen and dining area on the left and then bunks and a bathroom towards the back. But starting up here at the front of the camper, you see we have a pretty good size 
queen size bed here and let's get a measurement on it real quick so it's 60 inches wide and this mattress is ooh, about 78 inches long so just a couple inches short of a full queen size bed but a very good size short queen for sure now you'll notice on each side of the bed up here that there is a wardrobe cabinet and then there is a drawer down below you'll also see on each side of the cabinet that you have usb ports and behind each cabinet there's a little cubby space back there with some extra storage as well also up front here there is a receptacle so you can plug in if you have a CPAP machine or you just need some power to plug things in, you are all good to go. There's also additional storage up above and that goes back, gosh, almost a foot and a half. So it's a decent amount of storage space up there. And speaking of storage space, if you lift up the mattress, you've got some storage space under here as well. So the next area inside this trailer, we have the kitchen and it's a nice inline shaped kitchen. So everything's right in a line, which is great. Super easy to work and, and get things done in here. This has a big round single bowl sink, nice and deep. It's got a gooseneck faucet over, over it. And then up above, I like these frosted glass cabinets, nice touch. And then lots of storage up here, just one big giant cabinet with three doors. Below that, we have a three burner cooktop. And then below that, we have a convection style microwave oven, which is really super convenient. And then next to that, we have a good size refrigerator with separate freezer on top. It's nice and deep, so you can really keep a lot of cold storage in here. Next to the refrigerator, come on back, Susan. <laughs> next to the refrigerator, there's a pantry cabinet. Uh, this is also like two feet deep all the way back in there. So a lot of storage space is built in here. Directly across from the kitchen, we have the dinette here. This can easily seat four people. And this also converts into another bed as well. I like the fact that it's got the window over top and this area slides in and out. You'll also notice underneath each side of the dinette, there's plenty of storage underneath the benches. Uh, and that goes all the way back too. So really great setup, lots of storage space in here. And then there's a couple of bunk beds, uh, a nice ladder to use to get up, up in and out of the bunks. A lot of times we see bunks, but we don't see the ladder. We always wonder like, how do the kids get in and out? We just figure they, they climb up there. But in our Facebook group, people have been bringing up like, what do you do for a ladder? So this one has one built in, which is really great. Now each bunk has its own window and it also has USB ports, both upper and lower. So when the kids are laying in bed, they can play their games, watch their video games, whatever they do. So this is a pretty good sized bathroom back here. There's plenty of room. I'm standing in the shower currently and I did, I'll get the ceiling measurement outside of the bath and inside or outside of the shower and inside. So this ceiling height in here is six feet 10 inches tall throughout the whole trailer and then when you jump up into the shower the ceiling height is about six feet three inches and there's a skylight in here so you really have as much as six feet eight inches of ceiling height inside the shower one other nice feature i like about this camper is the top track for the shower curtain actually slides out away from the shower so when you're in here it just keeps the curtain from hitting you as often, which I really think is a, a cool feature. Uh, right next to the shower, we have a medicine cabinet, open area below so you can get to things. Then you have your vanity top, a little bit of storage underneath, more storage off to the side. And then of course you have your commode. There's one more area in here to take a look at. And there are two really big cabinets, upper and lower, right next to the shower so you have even more storage in here. This travel trailer is the KZ Connect SE, model number C312BHKSE. The unloaded vehicle weight is 7,260 pounds and the gross vehicle weight rating is 9,460 pounds. And this thing is 36 feet, nine inches long. Now, when you first walk into this RV, you walk into this very large and impressive living and dining area uh, you'll notice this big l-shaped kitchen here very very nice layout but to my right is where the bedroom is located towards the front of the trailer now when you walk into the bedroom 
you'll notice that you've got wardrobe closets on either side of the bed. Both have mirrored doors. There's a bar up top so you can hang things on either side. Uh, and they're very, very deep cabinets too, so you could store things underneath. You'll also notice this storage shelf up top, so you can even store more things up there. And then behind the bed, there's a shelf and a little cubby below that, but you have a receptacle and a USB port on both sides, so it's very, very convenient. Also, you'll notice on each side of the bed, there's a little shelf just below the cabinet, so you've got a little nightstand on each side. And one great thing is you can get out of this bed on both sides. It's in its own private bedroom, so really nice setup here. Um, this is a 60 inch wide by 74 inches long, so it is a short queen bed for sure, um, but it's got some nice features about it as well. While I have my tape measure out, we'll get our ceiling height. And you're looking at a ceiling height in here of six feet, seven inches tall. So pretty good amount of ceiling height. Um, and then the TV backer location in this bedroom is right here. I would kind of prefer it to be on this wall so you could see it better when you're laying in bed, but you could always get a swing arm and, you know, scooch it around to the corner. So I'm sure it would work out fine. Also, there's windows on both sides, separate AC unit in the bedroom, so uh, you can stay nice and cool in here on those warm summer evenings. So on the other side of the doorway is where we enter into the kitchen and living area. This is a great feeling area. I love this L-shaped kitchen. Even though everything's all in line, you've got the benefit of it being an L. The biggest benefit is you get all this extra countertop space here, which is, as you know, you know, really valuable real estate inside of a trailer. It's got a very nice big single bowl sink, uh, nice and deep, but I like the size of the sink. That's very convenient. You'll notice up top here, you've got a really large storage cabinet. And then to the right of that, you have a microwave oven. And then you've got a three burner cooktop down below. And this actually has an oven which is a really nice feature as well down below the oven lots of storage three nice drawers fully extendable all made of plywood very nice and then underneath the kitchen sink this storage goes all the way back so there's a ton of storage space under here as well just past the stovetop and oven we have the refrigerator here and good size fridge for sure nice and deep plenty of room inside and then just to the right of that, we have our pantry cabinet. It has a couple shelves in there, lots of room for storage in there as well. Now, directly across from this, we have uh, a really large but narrow U-shaped dinette. So you could easily seat four people here. I think you'd be squeezing just getting your four plates and cups on this table because it's, it's narrow, but it works. It also converts into a bed so you can drop the table, use the pillows, create another bed here. And there's also storage underneath of the dinette benches here. You've also got this nice comfy couch that you can sit on and this actually jackknifes out and becomes another bed as well. I don't think an adult could sleep on here, but certainly a, a child could. So you got extra room for that. Then you've got the entertainment center here. Um, very nice setup. It looks fantastic. You've got this extra cabinet next to it for CDs and DVDs and all that good stuff. You can mount your TV right here. Everything's viewable from the dinette or the sofa. And then down below, even more storage for extra movies and whatever else you want to keep on board. So behind the kitchen, the dinette, all that good stuff, we're towards the back of the trailer and I'm standing in the bathroom here, but right across from the bathroom, this is a really nice feature. They have this very large linen closet built in. Now I've got the door open to add extra lighting in here so you can see it better, but um, plenty of room inside there so you can store sheets, towels, pillows, blankets, all that good stuff. Now, one really nice feature about this bathroom, and there are two, but one really nice feature is, you'll notice behind me, it's got its own separate doorway in. So this is really great when you have kids or even for yourself, you don't have to come all the way through the RV to get to the bathroom. You can just come in, do your business, and back out you go. Great size bathroom. You have a large medicine cabinet over top, nice mirrored door, plenty of storage space. Good size vanity and then storage down below that. And then of course you have your commode right next door. But the shower in here is really unusual. 
in that it's deeper than most showers that we find. Most showers that we find are about, when you measure from the back wall to where the curtain is, there's only usually a couple of feet. This one goes a little further and gets you about 28 inches, and it does make a difference. I mean, when I'm standing in here, it certainly feels more comfortable. Now, this also has a skylight overhead, which they almost all do to get you that extra headroom. You've got about six feet, four inches of height. Not a bad amount of headroom inside this bathroom. So it seems like this trailer just keeps going and going and going. Now we're past the bathroom and the linen closet, and we're in the second bedroom here, which is a really nice setup. It's a bunkhouse style, but it also has this really cool dinette table. So the way this works is this can drop down and this, become, this can become a bed. Um, and you can use it as a homework table, you can use it as a workstation, but it's great to have this back here just to give you an extra use of the room. There's also another bunk here that you just remove the D pins on each side and it'll drop into place. So you can have a bunk below, a bunk over top, and get two people to sleep right here. On the other side of the room, you've got this nice big bunk up top, and this is pretty wide. It's about... Uh, 40 inches wide, 70 inches long. So decent sized bunk here. You'll notice that there's a lot of storage space in here with this. You've also got well. a spot down right bottom here is where your, your TV location would be on the side wall. You've got your cable and electric hookups. Then you've got some nice full extension drawers. And then right here, you've got a you know really nice big cabinet space with extra storage. Luckily, this bunk has a 300 pound capacity, so I feel safe laying here on it. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed checking out all these travel trailers for families of four. Let us know in the comments below which ones you like the best and why. And speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of these boxes over here. Remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger YouTube channel when you do and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every week when Susan and I come out with a brand new video. So for Mike, and Susan, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.